The non-democratic pseudo-world government EU is now playing the role of mobster, as evidenced by their recent attempts to shake down tech giant Apple. $14.5 billion is the amount that the EU says Apple owes Ireland for a mutually agreed upon tax incentive that Apple and Ireland had worked out nearly 20 years ago. As all honest political philosophers know, taxation is simply legalized extortion. Either pay this amount, or we'll come drag you off and put you in a cage. But who gets locked up when a multinational pseudo-world government body comes to haul away a corporation? Will they haul away the CEO? Will they haul away the head of Ireland operations of Apple? Or will they just haul away all the shareholders of Apple for making a profit off of this illegal tax scheme? Keep in mind, nobody in Ireland, nobody in the United States, no other national government body is actually saying that Apple did anything wrong or that this tax deal with Ireland was somehow illegal or wrong. It would be awesome if Apple just called the EU's bluff and said, what are you going to do? You're going to throw me in the EU jail? You're going to come arrest someone arbitrarily from our company? Who's to blame? Who, who did this? What, what are you going to do about it? You know, what are you going to uh, not let us sell our phones in, in Europe anymore? You're going to take that massive quality of living... Um, you know, spike to the face because you don't want to, uh, you know, honor a local deal that, that one of your member nations struck almost two decades ago with one of the biggest companies in the world. You're going to come in and try to shake them down. Wow. On the one hand, the EU is showing desperation. But on the other hand, this is an actual massive power grab. It's like they're saying, let's see if we can get away with this. Let's test Apple's resolve. Let's let's call their bluff here. Will they pay us $14.5 billion or will they kind of back off and, you know, make a, make a deal for a lesser amount? But whatever they do get, this is the EU saying, we have the power to throw massive multinational companies in our path, in our blender of bureaucracy and tear them to bits and, and impose sanctions and, and whatever the case, what kind of, whatever kind of punitive actions they could possibly conjure up if Apple were to shrug off this bill and say, BS, you don't, I don't know you nothing. What are you going to do I about think. it? Is Apple going to pay? Should Apple pay? Is there any conceivable sense in which the EU can come in and tell one of their sovereign nations, Ireland, that, hey, we know you had this deal with Apple, but we don't like it 20 years after the fact. Even though you've been getting jobs and, you know, bringing Apple into your country and helping your your people get access to Apple products and, and jobs at Apple, even though that's been beneficial and something you voluntarily agreed upon, we're coming in now and telling you that it's wrong, you can't do it. And not, not that Apple owes you the money, Apple really essentially owes the EU the money. Now, maybe it's gonna go to the Irish government first, but the EU is strapped for cash, right? They're having to bail out Greece. They're having to deal with things like the Brexit. They need to pad their coffins a little bit. So what do they do? Well, governments don't do anything. They don't make profits. They don't provide goods or services voluntarily. They extort resources and then spend it willy-nilly however they want to. A lot of it's on bureaucracy. A lot of it's on fraud and waste, insider no-bid contracts and that sort of thing. So will Apple pay? My guess is that they will. My bet is that Apple will kowtow to the world government forces that be, but I certainly hope that they don't. This video has been made, produced, and recorded on an iPhone. I don't think Apple is by any means perfect or flawless in, in the way they conduct their business, but I do enjoy their products, and I would hate to be supporting a company that is, even if it's by force, even if they're getting bent over the metaphorical world government taxation barrel, I would hate to think that some of the money of the phone that I bought is going to the EU inadvertently. What do you all think? Peace.